So, so the, in, my, in my opinion, the way that like someone can choose is that we think, we say, what is like the best description of, of this power? Because you know sometimes well, people will describe a creator and they will give them some attributes, some weak attributes, like with someone that can something that can be broken. Okay. Okay. Yes. Which is cannot be God because God is something great. He created everything, so it cannot be broken. So I think it's true the, the the mind thinking. Okay. So when you compare, for example, between religions, see what is the most religion that describes God in the best way. Do you agree? God has to have perfect, perfect. attributes. You know, the most perfect description of, of God on earth will be will be the best so far. So far. I don't know. You know what? I gotta think about that. I yeah. have to think about that. Yeah. I'm inclined to say yes, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not totally. I trust Christians. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know, you know, I, yeah. I, if it's an overall uh, power. Uh, and a, exactly. and a life force. And yeah, because they should be perfect, so, so it's easier for me because it's easier for me to be biased, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, the best way that I can advise myself, advise you, is I just go there and look what is the best perfect description that touches your heart. Right. And I can't find one. Okay. I can't but is, is, is there a way of doing that though? Yeah. You see, if you think about this universe, yeah. the universe has three, shows three essential properties to us. Limited, finite and dependent. It's contingent on something that is, has to be absolute, independent. Has to be. Because you cannot have this existence resting on something that is dependent. Something that is, right. yeah. So it has to be contingent or it has to depend on something that is absolute. So that's why when you say, when you look at the, the power that you're thinking of about this universe, the creator of this universe, has to be something that is absolute and having no cause of his own existence has to be eternally existing, right. always existing. Right. Anything that eternally exists has to be absolute by its nature, okay. not, not dependent. Yep, I believe all yeah. what you're saying. So that means then, if this creator has certain attributes, as he mentioned the word attributes, or characteristics, or properties, they will be perfect. They will not have any limitations. Okay. Okay. Because limitation is a weakness. Cannot be harmed, yeah. cannot be broken. No, no, not, not like this. For example, okay. say power, the power of the creator will be totally unbound, it will not be limited. Yeah. The knowledge, if the creator has any knowledge, it would not be a limited knowledge, right. it would be absolute knowledge. So if you were to think about these descriptions, yeah. in one sense you can say the descriptions have to be perfect, the words that we use, perfect right. attributes. That's what we'd expect even without going into any scripture, any book. So a religion from this creator, a way of life or a guidance from this creator must reflect him, him. Yes. or him not being a male, of course. So why can't I just believe in that? Right. But I don't believe in a specific yeah. religion. But how do we then? You see, just because saying that okay, I believe the Creator is perfect one and, and perfect. Yeah. If you look at it, the Creator has created us for a reason. Did not create all of this. You see what happens? Yeah, no, of course. There's yeah. meaning. So, so it all. how would we, as a finite individual within this cosmos work out the reason of our creation but maybe we're never going unless, to unless unless the creator tells us what the reason is and that's why it is important to ascertain where is this guidance from god which gives us this but absolute this one no no so no, the no, bible no. says the same it's thing. easy 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 just to, just to show you brother my one second <laughs> This is the book about which there is no doubt a guidance those conscious of Allah. Allah is the God, right? Okay, so, but so, someone, so, someone or so that a means, whole bunch of people wrote this. Sure, sure, just exactly. like a whole just, bunch of people brother, wrote brother, this. Brother, everyone, everyone can say that. About, about I want to give a comparison if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I'll tell you something, you know. When you say it like, uh, okay, when you say that you, you don't believe in that creator, but why, uh, why you should have like, follow one? one yeah. Religion? Because, like, as we believe that God is perfect, he wants us to 
has like perfection attributes. You cannot like leave us uh, like on this level without like, like, like a band yeah, yeah, without any answer to our questions. And one, for example, one of the God attributes, he's the guider. Right. He's the guider. Okay. Okay. So in order like to guide people, you should present something to them to for them to be guided, right? Okay. I don't know if you if you agree with that. I don't know. Yeah. So see, I'm like, stuck there. Yeah. Right, I'm, I get stuck there because why? Why does that necessary? Why is that necessary? I, I'll tell you, you know, because sometimes when you think about something, sometimes, sometimes the attributes of that thing will answer the actions. Okay. So for example, when I say, I'll give you, a, I'll give you an example. So uh, when you say a lion, for example, you know, because a lion is wild. He will act in a certain way. Okay, so this is an attribute yeah. that makes him act in a certain way, right? Right, okay. So God is, is perfect as we both agree. Yeah. And he has the perfect attributes. Yeah. Okay, and, and one of them that he created us, right? Yeah. He's, okay. the, he's the creator. Somehow, yeah, whether we I don't believe in creationism, I don't think someone like all of a sudden we were formed. But yes, somehow of it had to start of somewhere. Yeah, 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 of course. Right. Yeah, like like the, 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 the order came from him, but you know, I, I agree with you that. There are some like uh, practical reasons that right. need to. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So, so one of his one of his perfection, you know, for example, you, you as a mother, can you like leave your son alone without any no, without any guidance? Why? Right. Because, because motherhood is a, right. is a perfect attribute that that in you in a mother. Okay. Okay. So God should be greater than you as a mother. Who's greater? Who is yes. a God? Yes. Should be like he or she. Yes. On the language. Yeah. We say he it doesn't matter if he's no, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a matter of language, you know? Yes. So, so God is greater than me, than a father, than a mother. So he should have lived his creation alone, you know, as, as right. human beings. Right. So he should have put for us some directions. And this is the question of that research, you know? That everyone has like, uh, has had to search about it, you know. Right. So, so you have, for example, I, 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 it's easy for me to say, to say, follow this book. Right. Okay. Uh, this is the. But the thing that I can say is compare between between the things and choose the best and perfect like uh, way or religion that describes God in a perfect way. But, but it's even that, that why do I need... So let's address that point then. Yeah. Why, why do you even need, need... Why do I need that? Okay. Now, because if, if I... I mean, I believe in all... Like, yeah. I believe you can be a good person. Yeah. And like, I, bring, I brought up my children. I have yeah. three sons. They yeah. are really good people. Definitely. Yeah. They are... And I'm not just saying this. I know I'm a mother, right? But they're good people. They're respectful. They're industrious. And... And the whole thing is my husband and I are values and what is important in life. Like it's not about money, it's about being a good person, it's, it's helping others, all that kind of stuff. As I said, my my background is Christian. Like I'm culturally Christian. Like we celebrate Christmas, but Christmas to us is all our family, big family getting it's a together, gathering. right? It's in it, it, and it's about being grateful. And it, we we're Canadian, right? We celebrate Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not denominational, but it's about taking the time to really be thankful for what you have and all that kind of stuff. I just. <laughs> I get stuck because I, I just get stuck. Why? This is where we can share. We can share the Islamic I, I, perspective. This, uh, okay. As an aside, I have to tell you, this is so interesting. Like we just came here because I said you have to know what speakers' corner is, but it's only on Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Anyway, to give you the Islamic perspective, if, I, if you allow me, bro. Right, we have to leave. Um, but anyway. Yeah. Sure. You see, as you realize, if God is perfect in His attributes, He's just. He's merciful, he's right, kind. Right. These attributes itself will reflect that the creation that he creates, he's not going to leave them abandoned, as he used the word abandoned. Right. So one of the words God uses for himself is called Rabb. Rabb, or the Lord in English, the Arabic word means someone who creates, nourishes, cherishes, and guides. Yeah. So God did not just leave, create us, but he guides us to why he created us. Because otherwise, imagine I create a, not create, I make a phone. It does everything that you, you want today as a smartphone. And I have no reason for it creating. 
making it. You'll say, no, you've made it to record voice, record video, to have a chat, to talk to people, to write on it. So there's different reasons. You might as well give a manual with it. Yeah, isn't it? Right. Human beings are very complex human beings in our makeup, physio, social makeup, in our intellectual makeup, in our makeup of the psyche. We need that guidance, why we are here, why we are created. Um, what's, what's the, um, what's the purpose? purpose? Yeah. So this is what the creator actually indeed gives us the reason in the guidance that he sends. So the reason why some people obviously are confused because there are various books around each claiming different things. Right. One thing we need to do is set aside certain principle to use to direct our question for the right answer. One of the things we said, okay, start with one, fine. I need to be, I need to be as much as unbiased as possible to find the answer. Secondly, I need to look at this objectively rather than my subjective experience. Third, when I look into it, I'm going to have certain criteria in mind to to check this guidance, whether it's stream from God from not. If this book says, you know what, God lies and he cheats, you will say, that is not a good description or attribute of a God. Or God, he doesn't remember what happened, he doesn't know. You will say, God is all knowledgeable. So there are certain things you can set up and say criteria about God, as I know already, he has to be one. So if a book says, there's a two God or three God or five God, you would know certainly that's the religion, the guidance that it claims cannot be true. But, because but, there can but be but only one absolute. Says the same things, okay. right? yeah. So, so let's talk about the, the Bible same. briefly then. And I, I'm I not briefly. a scholar, I fine, do fine. not know. Let me give you but they all few examples about the Bible. My way is the way. Okay. So if you're Jewish, May, they're the chosen people. I want to if share with Christian, you, brother, I want to share with you it's Jesus. Two, two examples from the Bible. Just to tell you how to assess the Bible even if you're not a religious Bible believer. In the Bible, we'll talk about the, the Old Testament first. It says, at one time, God flooded the whole world, right? And saved certain individuals. But this is metaphorical. No, no, this is not let's, let's, let's take the statements as it says. After the flood, God makes a covenant. The right. biblical right. God makes a covenant with Noah, the prophet. Yep. It says, as a sign of my covenant, I'm going to put a rainbow in the sky. And every time I am, I am God and about to destroy mankind again. When I look at the cloud and I see the rainbow, it will remind me of the covenant that I made. Remind who? Me, God. So if you read that statement in Genesis, God says the reason the rainbow is up in the sky is to be what reason? The rainbow to remind God when he looks at it. It tells you the people who wrote this book obviously didn't have a good concept of a God that God is all knowledgeable and that God doesn't forget. But it's a, it's a story. No, no. It's a if, okay. So any book which gives you a story about God forgetting and needing to remind by a rainbow, you will have to set aside say that cannot be directly from this God. See, and I think that's too narrow a way to judge it. I do. I think that that's too. Why narrow would you say this could be from God? Why would you say it's a possible? Because this is not written by God. This is written no, no. by people over time. That means many people... different people. Not this. The Bible. Whatever. Yeah. Right. Over time, and they are their stories, their metaphors. Is was there an Adam and Eve? That's why the guidance cannot be found no. properly then. No. But you're not supposed to take it literally. Yes. Because I'm sure, sure I don't know I don't know what's in here in detail. But, but there's things that you know people fanatics will take and say this is what this is what the Quran says. So I'm gonna believe, I'm gonna follow this. And really, Let's take the comparison. they're taking but they're taking they're taking they're taking bits and pieces. Again, it's a story. I listen, when I say this, it's not because I don't believe the Bible is like I any know. more than I believe I, this I, is. I, I just I, don't but, believe but any of to, them. To are. Both yeah. of you, to both of you, sorry brother. We are in so much yeah. trouble by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, yeah. with Just my no, If we have two books. <laughs> She's waiting for us. Sorry. If we have two books, She's the Quran. 84 year old woman waiting for us. Oh. You shouldn't, like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't wait too long then. If you, have the, if you have the Quran and if you have the Bible, which you consider to be the works written by men with stories and so on, and you have the Quran, direct speech of God, directly okay. sent. 
no, no, how do we know? No, no. How, how do you know? No, no. That? If the Quran claims so and it describes God yeah. with the perfection that you know and you would agree with your heart and your mind, out of this two, why would you consider that book which you know for sure is embellishment with stories you know by man? Sure? But, but then someone else could come along and write a book and, and make make God perfect. And why wouldn't it be no, it that yeah. person? Yeah, this is the Quran in, in Because because I, I want to give it to you. Oh no, you, you oh, you're accept. very good. No, you don't have to. No, please. I have another one. No, no, because I, I brought it for this purpose. So if anyone wants. Really? To. Oh, that's such a gift. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Yeah, this is an, an English translation of the Quran. Yeah, I, that's the only way I can read it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That's very kind. No, no, no. He is my son. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know. So this is you have a very intelligent you know, mother. You know. So, so just, just you know, in a brief. Yeah. When you say, why not the Bible? Why not the Quran? This is an answer that everyone has to answer. Yes. How? By compa because you have a perfection like of God in your mind, yeah. in your heart. Just compare yes. and see which one like touches your heart. Well, you know what? You've made me think. Like, yeah. you know, that's exactly what this is yeah. for, right? And, and, and the question that you stuck in, you say why we have to follow, because okay. since since there are, like there is a reason yeah. behind the recreation, there is a message also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if you want to know like the message of any of any religion, yeah. study this this book. I, I, think that, I think that it's I think finding. It's, I think it's, that it's, if you find the meaning yeah. of what's important to you, that's what matters. I don't think that there's only one right way. I think. That, yeah. Well, this is what I'm trying no, to say. No, I know, and I know that. And I can't. You were saying like, that you shouldn't be picking no, things. You know, yes, I can there be one more than one right chair? Can there be? Yes. You know, you know, like, this is what we were saying that it cannot be. And that's the thing. And do you I think I can, yes, I do. Yeah. And I just, but, um, but but I just can't. It's like if I believe in something like this, it feels like I'm tricking myself. I'm just. Fooling myself, believing something because I just chose one way, and I, I just can't do it. Yeah, I, I'll tell you something. I, 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 if you can allow me to advise you, yeah. just read and then judge. Yeah, read. Yeah, I, you know, I have to read. Yeah. And, and I think that I can speak for both of us when I say exactly. it's. I, we both think that each person can believe what they want to believe and that is amazing and if they have a passion for it, that's incredible. But I think that if someone else from another religion has that same passion, it's just as equally okay. And Everyone, should just, yeah, and everyone should just be able to respect that each person. Of course, you know, you know, you know, like, uh, like if I, for example, if I believe that someone is wrong, I mean, for example. Someone is wrong. Uh, wrong, okay. Yeah, this doesn't mean that I am looking at some list, you know? Right, right. Yeah. No, like, well, we that, can disagree. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, exactly, I, yeah. And as long as we could, yeah. as long as we could say that and acknowledge that we're not of thinking course. poorly, then I of am course, very... Yeah. And yeah. you're not just saying yeah. you should believe, you're saying... This is why, like you're giving evidence yes, of why, yeah, according exactly. to you, yeah, so that. I think that's so important, important that's because it's not just telling us. If if we believe it, I think that that's a different thing than being told. If I genuinely feel and believe that this is correct, I will yeah. live by that. But I can't yeah. be told by someone that it's correct. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, 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 yeah I'll tell you something. You know, do you know the, do you know what, what is the first uh, verses revealed ever in the Quran? You know the, let's read. Is what? Sorry? The first verse of the Read, Quran read, is read, recite, oh. proclaim. Oh, read, read, read. Yeah, okay. Not, not, not believe, no, not believe. This is the key. So read, okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll come yeah. back next just, year. Yeah, because, very good. Because, on uh, your point about no. many ways, <laughs> and come and talk our Prophet said, okay, you know, I mean, he actually draw on the sand yes. yeah. various lines, right? A straight line and various other lines. There are many crooked lines. The straight line is the line that you should take that we'll take to God. So that's why the Quran, just to show you here, the chapter that, um, mm -hmm. that, that sorry for gives us. Here from mom, huh? Oh, no, so the last few we, seconds. We Look, yeah, actually, I'm not a resident here, I'm a tourist. Guide yeah. us to the straight path. Because every other path, crooked path would not take you to God. For example, a path which says God is a monkey. From Toronto. Another path says whoever says God is a monkey is going to go to hell. Can this both be true? Well, I, sorry, can you say that again? If, if a path, for example, for example, as you know, from, as a Christian. No, um, we're not Christian. No, no, sorry, no. Culturally. But, okay, culturally. Yeah, yeah. culturally yes. That the Bible says, for example, God has a son. Yeah? And Islam says, whoever says God has a son, it's like the heavens and the earth is to split asunder and be destroyed. That's how grievous this um, ascription is to God, that God has a son. But we don't believe God. No, no, no I'm not son. saying you do. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, the I point I'm making, the point I'm yeah. making is, 
So if Islam considers ascribing a son to God is a very grievous thing, that's one way. And another way saying, yeah, you can say God has a son and you can worship him like that. The two ways are mutually contradictory and you, can't, you cannot say it's okay to choose any way to go to God. But I think that on the topic of picking certain things, that's just picking two things that directly contradict each other. I think that you, you could, could pick two other things. You could pick two other things that directly contradict each other. I think that people departed away from this straight path and that's why you have different religions. So Islam is not like a new religion. It is the one and only the same religion all the prophets and messengers brought and people deviated from this path. And what Islam is saying, return to the path of Abraham, which God was favored him of this, you know, beautiful millah. But you know what, we get stuck at the part of you saying that God needs, is the only yeah. one God. We I are, get stuck there, because we why? Can, we can, can there be more than one God? Is yes. it possible? There could be any, there, there could, could be, because there it's might not even be a Okay, so brain, let's, our brains can't uh, 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 even, let's, even let's really discuss that. this. Can, oh God, can there be more than so one absolute? Because, because uh, the Quran itself questions the same No, question. except there's same, not, the but says, God is not absolute. Not there's, a, it's not for How how can you, God not be absolute? How can it be absolute? Okay. okay. If this universe was created, can it be created by anything other than absolute? We have two kings. Any, no, but ultimately, have, ultimately, ultimately our existence must be dependent and contingent upon an absolute being. Has to be. Something that has no beginning, something that has no cause prior to it, something that has no uh, dependency on anything prior to it. Has to be. That's what we mean by absolute. Okay, but where did, where did God come from? How did it? The question of where did God come from is a meaningless question. Why? Because if something exists now, there has to be always something. Oh, if something like the chicken or the egg. No, it's because you you are the proof that there are always something in existence. Something always. So the question about who brought God into existence doesn't apply. Why? There has to be something always. Whether there's a chain of creators or ultimately this one creator. Then how do you know that something didn't come before your God? Because you said that it's the straight path that people... No, no. Talk about one God who was created by another God. Ultimately, there has to be a God that has no God before that. So why is it yours? The God that Islam provides as the, the guidance to you is the one and only God who is absolute. And that, that, that can be the only God which is the, the first. But that's what's hard for me to believe. I don't understand why it has to be your God. Why it when you say God your God, there can only be one absolute God. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't think, why does there even have to be a God? Why, why can't we just all live our lives without no, no. having... Can there be more than one absolute God is the question. Think about it because you have to go and, and leave, 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 go. Can, can the, have a look. Thank you so much. Right. Um, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>